introduces me to a man the man calls me and after that man calls me that man tells me i am vying for the member of parliament seat in embu county and i would like you to work with me during this period of or do they call it campaign campaign yeah so i'm like wow god you're hearing me so this man tells me i am old enough to be your dad so would it be okay with you first meet me yes me where do you live told him mbakasi he told me can you direct me i told him yes i can direct you yeah. and that man told me i want you the reason why i want you to direct me is i want you to come in my car and suck me off self hi 65 years do you know i texted that man once and he never replied i asked that man one question do you know god or do you have the fear of god that man never replied that man never talked to me again that man shan't be off that idea of working with me towards the elections just died like that and i was back to jobless back to eat your gift if you can eat it <laughs> pay your bills with your gift if you can pay and i can tell you that I, since then since 2016 up until now if i tell you before god I which sees even in the darkest pit the money that I have made genuinely with my art I think it's 7500 since 2016 up to now how do I feed myself how do I pay my bills how do I I now have kids two kids very beautiful kids how how do i do this? how do i do this if not for god so munene njero tells me to meet him in his car and go i don't even feel like i can repeat that because it is as disgusting as that so the man tells me to meet him and go do that and I ask him do you know god or do you have the fear of god and that man decides never to talk to me ever again that man just disappears that is 2017 during the general elections campaign general election campaign and 2017 goes and they don't talk to me but from that 2017 because 2016 november 15th sorry 2015 november 15th god brought now my present wife to me but the way she came she never came like she came like just the other girls so i just felt like this one of the other girls who are just coming in my life and ah, i'll just do whatever I, what i'm used to doing and then ah, just i don't even have money to even entertain you so it just come i do what i do and you go so the lady comes but when the lady comes the lady is so different from others first of all the girl is a virgin second thing the girl does not talk she does not talk much she is just silent and now with those she has those wife material 
you know that those wife material characteristics like sh- she'll come grace me with fruits you know she'll come and and find my house you know with utensils on the on the on the on the sink and she will clean them for me and i never used to see that in in girls mm-hmm. like they were they come we drink whatever is there smoke whatever is there leave the bottles there and leave the bottles there and and go you do the clean up yourself you're a star of the role hmm. are you looking for a husband <laughs> i think you get a hint <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so this girl comes but i don't take her serious during the first first day so my relationship with her becomes more serious when her brother passes away because that is the first time i get my foot where she was born there i meet the dad there i meet the mom there i meet the brothers the sisters and she's introducing a very big family they have a very big family so introducing me to everyone 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 so i'm like if she has taken me to this extent of introducing me to the dad i have never been introduced to a woman's dad by anyone when i have been mm-hmm. over in and out relationships so this must be special and because that man was aged he had he was 53 years older than me at that time may he rest in peace because he passed in 2019 january and he loved me so much mm-hmm. that man loved me so much that that even even my parents started getting jealous like they started asking me what did that family give you that you don't even think of coming home but the problem is i'm not going home because first of all i don't want you people to know what i'm going through because when my things were being auctioned when we were losing our studio when i had no place to go record when i was even being shunned off my my house is being closed and auctioned I called for help from my family and my family couldn't help me. Now a woman comes here and that woman shows me another family where I can like go to an elderly person and ask what do you do to get old? Because this life is so crazy. I'm suffering so much. I opened up to that man. That man guided me like a kid. He used to like He never wanted to see me frowning or with pain or with that man may God bless that man and the whole entire family because I saw God in that man his name was Mzee Musa That person that man helped me so much in recovering from the trauma of fame and of being being in the world of stardom seen. and seen yeah <laughs> but in 2022 you know the devil never gives up one thing people should know is if you choose to pray then pray without ceasing once you start don't ever stop the moment you stop that moment when you even if it's even if it's for a single day or for a few hours he must do something so you when when the scripture says you must meditate on god's word it means that even when you're walking on the road even if you're not aware your subconscious should be prayerful like your subconscious mind should be calling god all the time over and over and over even in your unawareness your soul and your spirit should be clinged to god otherwise that moment when you forget god that moment is the devil's moment to shine mm. and he will shine he will shine he will do it he will make you know that he came because in 2022 the same woman from the united nations texts me 
and now she texts me now on Facebook, God social forbid. media. God forbid. <laughs> let me show you. Let me show you. The, I want you to read it aloud. I want you to read it aloud, so that people don't think that I'm the one who's reading. I want you to read it aloud. That is 2022. Read the dates. Okay. Doris Vanessa. Um, the 12th of April, 2022, 5.40 p.m. Hey, would you be open to me hooking you up with a Dutch friend of mine, male, living in Nairobi? What? Um, you see, I never even spoke. See, I never even spoke. I just... Would you be up to meeting with a Dutch friend of mine, male, living in Nairobi? Hmm. It's crazy what some of these foreigners are here doing. Yeah. It's crazy what some of these guys who are high-level United Nations foreign embassies, it's crazy what they're here doing and what they are ready to bankroll what they're ready to put their money behind. And when you look at this lady, she's so beautiful and she looks innocent. You, you can't even tell, oh my God, we need to pray for our children. We need to pray for our children. And that, and I'm telling you, they've really tried to make me desperate. Like, they've made sure it is them, it is them, it is the devil working in them. I cannot blame myself because I do my best and leave the rest to God. But the evil, the evil one, the evil one who is afraid of what God has given me, of what God has put in me, of what God has put in his faithful, is trying to make the faithful suffer Mm. and suffer and suffer so that they can give up on this God and serve the devil. Exactly what you went through after denouncing uh, the enemy and giving your life to Christ. They started trying to frustrate you. To make you desperate because desperate people do desperate things. Yes. Me too. I went through yeah. the same. Yeah. But now, you see, that's when you pass through your wilderness experience. And that's come out you, stronger. And come out stronger. Either you fall in that place or you pass through the wilderness and you and you come out on the other side. Like he's going through that wilderness. Yes. But he's more than a conqueror. And coming out on the other side because mm -hmm. um, when light is introduced to the situation, that's what the devil doesn't want. He hates to see that light has come into the situation because he loves to do his thing in darkness. You know how when you turn the light on, the cockroaches scatter. Mm. He's like a cockroach in his character. You turn the light on and he runs. Mm. And he's, they scatter to filthy places. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you that's know, where like the enemy filthy is. Things. You see, but what the enemy is going, is, is on a mission to do, is to look for the weak among the population. Who here is weak? Who among them is weak in terms of their moral convictions? Who among them can I take? Because the scripture says, be sober, be vigilant for your enemy. It's like a roaring lion. Like a roaring lion yeah. seeks whom he may devour. Who he, hey, whom he may devour. devour. In other words, there are those whom he may not. But those whom he may are those who are so weak in their moral convictions that they are for sale. Mm. And if your moral convictions are weak, the lion, well, the one who roars as if he is a lion, but that dragon, that wicked one can have you. And it's a process of elimination. Mm. The God, the rules of the game is that Satan can take the weak. Oh, that's, 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 ah, uh, that's why you're commanded to be strong in the Lord. Yes. So it's not a matter of weak in terms of muscles. It's of a matter financial. of strength 
in conviction and moral uprightness. Um. Otherwise, hmm. he's going to take you. Hmm. He's going to take you. And he's hunting. He's always hunting. And he has agents and they have money. Mm -hmm. And they're in the upper echelons of society. They live in the leafy suburbs, mm -hmm. in the best places in yeah. the city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They drive the big cars. Yeah. They're having parties. Yeah. All you can drink, all you can eat. They know you're desperate. Mm -hmm. And they're yes. going to use your desperation against you. Mm -hmm. They'll use their... They can solve your financial problem easily, but they won't. Yes. What they want is to break you. Yes. Yeah destroy you to and destroy then train you for your destruction and yeah. put you to shame why because you are the children of god that's why satan is sending his agents to destroy the children of god and i keep telling you there is no continent on the face of the earth with more real hebrews than africa yes and the only way he can destroy this continent because we don't have any military to speak of mm. what military do we have yet we have all the world's natural resources mm. right here in Congo over 24 trillion dollars in natural resources what is stopping the military might of first world nations mm. from coming in and crushing and plundering everything the prayers yeah now the only way to infiltrate to get them is to in is to convince them to sin. There is a popular uh, TikToker in Uganda who was given a similar deal to promote homosexuality. And one of the things he was offered was citizenship in England. And also he was given money and with a very big organization that poses as if it's fighting for human rights. And then, yeah, this, this young man has been used so much to even put our president on pressure they would uh, lead uh, groups of people who are fighting for the rights of the gay community to go to uganda house and different offices uh, putting museveni on pressure not to sign the gay bill but now he's quiet now that he has cancer mm -hmm. and he has gotten complications as a result of that act now nobody's talking but before this young man had a life he had a following he was hustling but at least he was surviving now they have taken him overseas he's having complications from that and nobody's talking he has been used and dumped and that's what they do they just want to use if use this person who has a following to influence others towards destruction and after they use him they dump him so we've seen these things happening and we thank God he came out. Our brother, we are so grateful you have come out to, to expose this evil because many people are becoming victims. I tell you, many people are going through this right now and there are many who are on the verge wondering, do I make the decision? Do I do it or do I not do it? Listen to me and listen to me well. Don't do it. God is able to deliver you. He delivered me. God is able to deliver you. He's delivering Him. our brother Christopher yes. right now. He will mm -hmm. not be able to say, mm -hmm. listen to me. If you bow, listen, don't bow. That is the worship of Balaam. That is the worship of this hermaphrodite God, Moloch, this goat head God with, with horns and, and, and male and female private parts. Like the woman the, that they're using to yes she's yes. hermaphrodite it's, it's satan satan transforms from from male to female female to male you can't tell whether he's male or female he's some kind of a cross between the two blurring the lines just because i said no and i will still say no to my last breath mm. my wife and i thank god so much that even with nothing, God saw me so valuable to trust me with lives of two innocent children that are growing in my watch. Mm. And I thank God that the first thing I have given them, even without anything material, is the fact that God is real. They know God, they pray. Wow. 
they can't sleep without praying they will wake up their mother widow without me and i feel like even though i've gone and i'm still going through a lot the fact that i'm taking good care of those kids and i don't want their souls to be tarnished or get lost is one of the things that god will use to you know save me because i need it i need it it came a time you know since high school i was introduced to pornography and i have been i have watched pornography for so long that even when i came to that point of settling with my wife it was hard to get satisfaction from her it was so hard that i even started you know blaming her and feeling like i hate her because you know i used to get what i wanted when i wanted but now she is there and she's like my remote control or a break that god has used to slow me down and i feel like i want more and i want more and i want more and i have masturbated for so long and through Anne's testimony my eyes got opened to the fact that i was being used yes i wasn't masturbating because i feel like i have a sexual a manly sexual urge but i am being used by spiritual forces yeah to throw away your honor my honor your dignity my respect my dignity yeah. and even my wealth your mm. inheritance my inheritance your wealth yes i wonder why i have gone through a lot of things but through Anne's testimony i realized that i am a victim of this circumstance that people are blind to this the spiritual world is more powerful than the physical world it is the one that is running the physical world even the fact that you are wearing a pinkish coat is not a coincidence you felt like wearing it but it was ordained that you are going to wear that god has given me a gift that i can prove it to you that you never just chose to wear pink but pink was who you're supposed to be today there's something that you there's a message that you're sending through everything that you're wearing every word that comes from your mouth is not your word i can prove it word by word you can look at the time and i tell you that you know it's not a coincidence that you spoke of this word at that time with me and erica and john with no other witness no coincidences like everything is masterminded and planned to the latter and now i since primary school i remember there's a time that my sister found me you know those time that there were no cd's or dvd's we used to do to use those decks the cassette decks the big cassette decks the movies we used to use, to watch movies with big 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 tapes so i used to take a tape that has a certain movie that i don't like and go dub a pornographic movie and then in my mother's house when they sleep i find myself watching pornography with a volume of one and still that one is still so loud mm. that my sister could hear and i remember there is a time my sister and i thank god that there are living witnesses to what i am saying i am not alone in this god knows god knows that we are many i am only brave to speak about this because we are many and many are suffering mm. in silence yeah my sister came and found me there was there was a wall clock like like that one and then there is there is a corridor to the sitting room so the 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 door of the corridor is open so my sister walks through the corridor going to the washroom and she looks at the wall clock which is adjacent to the door and what she sees is a reflection of the tv 
and I'm watching pornography thinking nobody can see me. But when she stood there, I'm watching the TV, she saw the reflection on the clock. And she came and told me, why are you watching absurd things? I, that is when, that is the first time I heard the word absurd. <laughs> in high school, from true. Why are you watching absurd things in your mother's house? I felt so terrible. Actually, it was, it was, uh, uh, it was a word from the Lord. <laughs> this, 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 this ridiculous, mm. a tape that, I had ridiculous, I had dubbed half of it pornography and then ridiculous at the end. So when I see somebody, I hear somebody coming, I fast forward, it goes mm. to ridiculous. So somebody will think I was watching ridiculous. Mm. But in reality, I was watching pornography. So my sister found me red handed through the clock. She saw me and she came and asked me, why are you watching absurd things? And I can tell you with all honesty that since high school, how many times I have masturbated? How many times I have given my seed away? There's no man who can wash me clean if not God. There is no man who... And you know what? Eh, I've never had such an interview like this one. Jesus. Jeez. Oh my God, I don't even know what I expect. I don't know what I expect now from me. I feel like my life has just stopped and it is about to start again and I don't know which di direction it will go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I'm speaking of things that many people can't speak of. And if you're there and you can't speak of what you're going through, you are in a cult. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are... A cult member, even if you don't know, you are a cult oh, member wow. and you are being used and abused each and every day wow. and you will lose, you will lose, you will keep losing up until you become loose to release what is inside you because this is, this is a cage, this, 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 this is a territory, this, this jail. This is a place where we are sentenced. We are sentenced to live in this body and whoever overcomes or conquers the flesh will see God. Okay. And that is what I pray. I pray for deliverance. I pray for forgiveness. I pray that God may show me what is mine. I don't want anything. But I want what is mine because what is mine is His and His is mine. I will never lack. But as long as I don't get my rightful share from God. I feel like I am about to suffer even more than I have ever suffered and I cannot take more. I cannot take You know, now as we speak, it seems like you know, I have my my parents-in-law and my wife and let's talk about my family in general. I've been pushing me so much to look for another job because art is not paying me. No matter how much work and you know what, I will give you a chance. Tim, you are a great man. You are a great artist. You are a true artist. Among your gifts is not just the gift of the word, it's not just the gift of music, but you are an artist. Our Father who art in heaven, it is art that God used to create. So that's why artists are so tempted by the devil to lose that art because it is that art that even created that Satan, that devil. It is art. So they want, the devil wants to destroy the artistic nature of God's people because it is the artistic nature that brings out the creativity that exposes the evil works of the devil. Mm. So as an artist, I have, 
I have really been frustrated. I am frustrated as we speak. I every single tear that drops off my eyes because at least I found people who can listen to me and allow me to release my depression away. Because this is a depressed man. This is a really depressed man because a man is the head of the family, right? Hmm. Of course. For a very long time they have not been I have I have not been getting my credits as the head of the family because it is hard for me to provide. It is so hard. It has been so hard for me, but it's my fault. I believe that if God forgives me, I will provide. I feel like it is deliverance that I need that will open doors for me because no, I cannot. I cannot take it anymore. And at the same time. <laughs> I cannot go that way. I cannot go that way. That is not my way. I am not familiar with that way. I will get lost. I will die young. I know that I will die young if I go that way. Mm. And I don't want to. I don't want to shame my Baraka. I don't want to shame my princess mother. I don't want to shame their mother. I don't want to shame my loving mother. <laughs> she looks up to me. She appreciates every move that i make but she always keeps me keeps asking me when will you ever make a fortune of your efforts but they don't understand they don't know they don't know and i've i've been thinking of how to tell them that i am i am i am somehow confused i'm not okay but because many people believe in me i have to act like i'm okay because some people even depend on me to give them advice and motivation and because I've written very powerful books that I've not been able to publish my art itself speaks volumes that each and every line of my work can change a life My art has changed me personally. And I wonder why it is out there and I'm still fighting to put it out there yet as powerful as it is. The returns are invisible. Pushing me off because of my nature now. friends have just I only have like one friend now I will name him Patrick the others are just I don't know I don't know actually if, I don't even know if I have a true friend now sometimes I feel I feel so alone I am some I'm I'm, I'm so I'm so silent at home because I feel like my wife looks down on me even if she doesn't say it like sometimes her actions will make me feel so down or make me feel so unworthy I remember 3 days before my son's third birthday that was 2021 on 20th of May I attempted to take away my take away my life yeah I, i took a lot of things i took paraffin like a liter of paraffin and some tablets with hope that i'll go where peace comes from i'll go where love dwells i'll go where i came from but god refused but what that poison did to me 
never forget. I will never forget. And right now, as a speaker, I also have this throat issue. I've oh my god, I just need God. I just need God because you know there they this this skin, there's this skin that I have to shed off. There's this skin that I have to shed off because I have smoked for so long cigarettes and 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 now they are affecting me like the right side of my throat sometimes I have issues I have issues but God is God I believe in God and I know that he cannot just sit in our midst here and watch me shed all these tears because of the truth that is coming from my lips and allow me to go just like that i know he is here with me i know that he will show me a way i know that there is a way please don't see me don't see me as a strong person i'm so weak that's why i am No. Taking it out. That's why I'm taking it out and I don't care what people think. It mm. takes strength. It takes strength to speak truth. And the Bible says, let the weak say I am strong. And then also weeping will endure for a night. Rejoice. It comes in the morning. And it's Amen. better to cry in the presence of God than Amen. to cry before Amen. man. Because well, when yeah. you go before God, you come out with an answer, a solution. He paves a way where seems to be no way. We've all been through that point in life where you have nowhere to go, no one to run to but God. And the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and they are safe. You would have been in a shrine right now. You would have gone to a mosque. You would have gone to, to you know, any other place. There are many options. But you have chosen to come before God and to come before fellow believers and open up to, you know, to, you just decided to open up your life to help other people regardless of what you're going through. I'm telling you, we've been through that, but let me tell you, God is faithful. Amen. Men can let us down, but God will never let us down. He will never disappoint us. He will never frustrate us. He said in his word, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He knew your children before they were born. He Amen. knew you before Amen. you were born. Even before you were placed in your mother's womb, before your father gave you that name that you have, God knew you and he had a plan. And there is a reason as to why, regardless of what you have been through, God has not allowed you to perish. Amen. He has preserved Amen. your life. Amen. The reason as to why you're breathing today despite of what you've been through. There are some rich men right now in hospital on oxygen. They can afford to get everything, but they, they can't buy that life. But God has given you that life because he's a God of second chance and he has a plan for your life. And before that plan comes to pass, the enemy will not prevail. He's Amen. already defeated Amen. by the fact that you're exposing him. He's defeated. And, 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 and. Mm. So, you know, people need to know that the music industry is a fraud. Mm. Secular music industry is a fraud. It is an illusion. It is a deception. It's a world of lies. You need to know that the secular industry is a world of lies. Even the most famous rappers you'll ever see, hmm. they're borrowing cars, <laughs> they'll rent a Houses. Lamborghini, they'll rent the Ferrari, they'll rent a mansion, they'll put girls in there. You heard him saying it, they used to call him to bring the ladies, because the rappers, they didn't even know the ladies. He would bring the ladies, and they would dance in the videos, and afterwards everybody goes home by cab. They leave the Lamborghini, they leave the Ferrari, they leave the, the Rolls Royce and the, and the mansion. It's all a facade, it's all lies, because the devil is a liar. 
what does he say? Fake it till you make it. That's his strategy. But, but you no won't making. make it. There is no making it. There is no making it. It's just facade. One step forward, two steps back, all the way through your career. It, that's, it'll be the same thing over and over and over again. And he keeps you there. Why? He keeps you in a, in a place of desperation. Just waiting for the next month. Just waiting for the next week. Just waiting for the next thing. Why does he keep you there? Because he knows he can draw you out. He can waste your time. And when he has devoured your time, he strikes. And so many souls have ended up in hellfire because he deceived them with fame, with money, with power. Look at Whitney Houston. Don't let anybody deceive you that she went to heaven. No, she didn't. You don't die in sin and go to heaven. Michael Stop Jackson. lying to these people. Look at Michael Jackson. Like a dube. Perhaps they were murdered. Either way, the devil is a murderer. That's what Jesus said. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. When he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own. He speaks his own mother tongue, his own nature, because he's a liar and the father of lies. And he makes and creates music videos full of lies and deception full of very persuasive lies and dance moves to deceive you and women scantily dressed to deceive you further to take advantage of your weak convictions to take advantage of your proclivity to stare at nakedness and to tolerate it and to entertain it and when you see it you're enticed by it meanwhile the whole process is to steal from you to rob you of your time your honor your dignity, your inheritance, and finally, your life. Same old cycle going on. He's been doing the same thing for years, for thousands of years. Nothing has changed about him. Now he just uses technology because man has access to it. And eventually, this same technology, he'll use it to imprison man, to covenant man, to put the mark of the beast on man and damn them to the hell to the lake of fire forever and ever with him. He wants everyone to go to the lake of fire with him. He doesn't want to go alone. Thus, he sends his emissaries. He sends his agents. You think you're having a good time because you're hanging out with foreigners. Meanwhile, those are the agents of the devil sent to derail you from the plan and purpose of God for your life. Yeah. And you know how many youth run towards celebrities I was one of those youth who was running after a celebrity and I found myself in hell and I keep sharing my story uh, because I know they, there are so many youth that are running after the fame. But let me tell you, the Bible says, wow unto them that put their trust in men. Cast is a man who puts his trust in another man. I'm telling you, the time I got out of our compound, and ran after this celebrity, I was already cast. Because I felt like by seeing this celebrity, something about my life is going to change. Indeed, it changed, but it changed for the worst. I found myself in front of Satan. And how many youth today have followed these celebrities and found their rectums damaged because this celebrity is making homosexuality look cool and he's earning from homosexuality according to what you think. Maybe he's getting connections and he's being aided and funded by these big organizations. Let me try it out. How many youth have ended their lives like that? Coping a lifestyle that is a lie, it's deception. Everything you see the enemy promoting is a lie. It's vanity. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things. Today, Sorry, added. today I am so glad that I chose to give my life to Jesus because it was a difficult decision. First of all, when I gave my life to Christ, my friends counted days. They said, that one, she'll come back. Let's give her two days. Two days, they said, uh, let's give her four days. Four days, Jesus became so interesting. I had never found genuine love. Someone who loves you for who you are, regardless of how filthy he said that the way he masturbated, no man could wash him clean. Me, the way I performed witchcraft and sorcery, the way I caused accidents, 
today somebody can just look at you and say, oh, you're wearing earrings, you have hair, you do this. People will always judge. No man can ever wash another man clean apart from the blood of Jesus. Jesus Amen. can change someone from, from, from wherever the enemy has positioned them. Wherever the, the enemy can, can put filth. In fact, if God was going to ask people, the people he's going to qualify to serve him, I would, not, I would never, even just getting a microphone to say, praise God, nobody would qualify me for that. Nobody could qualify him for sharing what he has, what he has been through. But thank God for the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. That blood of Jesus can change bamboo. A person who was a secular artist, a person who had tested fame and humble him, allow him to go through the fire. He's been through the wilderness. Our brother is sharing, but I thank God I've been able to witness bamboo go through the wilderness. Because it's a process that everybody has to go through, especially when you have to say no to the offers that the enemy has given. When you say no to that, he will try to squeeze and frustrate you so that he puts you in a corner and you go back. And when you go back, he delays and he derails you. He can even kill you before you get to the promised land like the children of Israel. They had to go through all that. Every time they, they faced luck, they would complain. They would look back. They'll say, in Egypt, where we were slaves in Egypt, but at least we could afford a meal. We could afford a, a glass of water. Pharaoh was giving us some water. And every time they would do that, they would prolong their trip. They would stay in that wilderness. In that wilderness, once you pass that exam, there is a promotion. So... Don't focus on what the enemy is doing. Focus on God that is creating something new in your life so that when you get out of that wilderness, you will be standing before great men and they will be asking you, how old are you? Where did you get this knowledge from? Why are you speaking like somebody of 70 and yet you're in your 20s? It's because you passed an exam. And every time you pass an exam, you're given a mantle. You're given a crown. You're being promoted. And God is a rewarder. Saints, God is a rewarder. Man can frustrate, but God will never frustrate. Amen. Amen. So, and, and I just want to read something for you hmm. that really explains 1 John chapter 1. Hmm. From verse 1, that which was from the beginning, which mm. we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, mm. which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and show unto you that eternal life, which was with the Father, and was manifested unto us. He's talking about Jesus. That which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you, that you also may have fellowship with us and truly our fellowship is with the father and with his son Jesus Christ and these things write we unto you that your joy may be full this then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness meaning sin we lie and do not the truth but if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship one with another and the blood of jesus christ his son cleanses us from all sin brother the blood of jesus has cleansed amen. you from all sin amen. Amen. verse 8 amen. if we say amen. that we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Mm. Chapter 2, my little children, these things write I unto you, that you sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the propitiation for our sins or the payment for our sins. 
and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that says, I know him and keeps not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. Somebody, I heard some, somebody saying that, you know, if you give the, the amount of money you give is directly proportional to how much you love God. That's a lie. Those are doctrines of devils. Your love for God is directly proportional to your obedience to God. If you obey him, if you keep his commandments, that is the sign that you love him. Not how much offering you give. He that says, I know him and keeps not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. But whoso keeps his word in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that says he abides in him ought himself also to walk even as he walked. Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment, which you had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which you have heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is past and the true light now shines. He that says he is in the light and hates his brother is in darkness even until now. He that loves his brother abides in the light and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and knows not whether he goes because that darkness has blinded his eyes. Mm. I write unto you little children because your sins are forgiven. Amen. Your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. I write unto you fathers because you have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you young men because you have overcome the wicked one. He's talking to you. He's Amen. saying you have Amen. overcome the Amen. wicked one. Amen. I write unto you little children because you have known the father. I have written unto you fathers because you have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you young men because you are strong and the word of God abides in you and you have overcome the wicked one. Amen. Now watch this admonition. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that does the will of God abides forever. Mm. My friend, poverty passes. Oppression passes. Those are things that are subject to change. Mm. But that which remains, once God puts his hands on you and says, okay, now it's my turn. Mm -hmm. It's forever. Amen. Let me tell you, when I was in the secular music industry, I got saved. Everything was taken away. I had to start from scratch. But I had this consolation that once I start in God, I'll yes, never no. have to start over again. Mm. I'll never have to start from scratch again. You would have built on the rock. Amen. And now I've built on a solid rock. Mm. Before and it was on sand. I, was, I had built on sand before. And that's what people are doing coming into the music industry. You are building on sand. You have no foundation because Yeshua is that real foundation upon which a human being can build their life upon sound principles built with sound integrity. And now if you build without Yeshua, the winds of change, the storms of life will blow upon your house. Life is spiritual. The spirits will blow upon your life and manipulate you <laughs> without Jesus. There's a puppet master who will rule, who will rule over your life. And the slay queens will slay your fans. They slay mm. everything. He that keeps company with harlots spends his substance. They will waste you. They'll steal your dignity, steal your substance, steal your time. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, your time is meant to be exchanged for value. But instead of trading time for value, you trade time for waste. Mm. 
So, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, that's fornication, adultery, pornography, that's the lust of the flesh. Homosexuality, the lust of the flesh. And then what? The lust of the eyes. This, you want to see more, right? You want to see the nice house and the nice cars and the nice this and the nice that. And God wants you to have those things, but not at the expense of your soul. Mm. You don't have to waste your soul to get those things. He says the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. Mm. That's what many of them are feeling. They're, they're thick in the middle of sin and they have a little bit of abundance that the devil has given them to deceive them, to blind their eyes. The pride of life. They feel that they have arrived. But all of that is passing away. This world called the physical world is the world of temporary. Everything here is temporary. Everything in this world is like a digital construct. At the push of one button, everything can be deleted. This is a temporary world. And that's why God allowed us to pass through this world and to finally leave this world. Because in this world, things can change. In this world, you can change. In this world, you can change. But in the eternal world, you cannot change. You are what you are. And when that's you what... pass away, you are what you are. So if mm. you die a fornicator, you are what you are. Yes. And he says, no fornicators, nor adulterers, nor liars, nor murderers, nor lasciviousness, nor seditions, wrath, envy, strife, murderers shall inherit the kingdom of God. Yeah. So he says, changed here in this dimension, in this world where, that is subject to change, change here before you come out of that body. Mm -hmm. That's why if you fail in this world, you cannot make it in the next world. You can't. You Whatever are what you, you are. do in this world determines where your where destination you, will be. Yes. Wow. So, the world passes away and the lust thereof, but he that does the will of God abides forever. Verse 18, little children, it is the last time. In other words, it's the last of the last days. And as you have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists. Wherefore, we know that it is the last time, meaning that these are the last days. The Antichrist already has his position. In the European Union, in the conference room, there's a place that has 600 and something chairs, and there's one in the middle. And that chair is number 666. You can't make this stuff up. Verse 19. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that it might be made manifest that they were not all of us. Meaning that there are human beings here that are not human beings. There are some here that are not 100, that do not belong to God. And that's why they, when you come into contact with them, they lead you astray. I mentioned this before. Human beings are like roads. A human being is like a road. He can bring you things. He can take things away from you and he can take you places. And depending on who you follow, that's the place you're going to end up. That's why Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whosoever follows after me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. You saw how Erica followed chameleon. People are like roads. She followed that celebrity. And where did she end up? Listen, there's people, there's some of you following celebrities out there. You can be a follower without ever shaking their hand. You can be a follower just by seeing them in, on Facebook. On you can be a follower just by seeing them on YouTube and you watch how they behave and you start walking like them and talking like them and, and behaving like, like them. them, living through them vicariously. Okay. You will end up in a location. They want to play hair like that celebrity. People are like roads. They want to, to, to go to the, to, to the shops that they go to. They want to go to the hotels. That's why they use them to advertise. Companies pay them to advertise places, you know. Uh, if you see a certain celebrity in a hotel, you also want to go to that hotel because the celebrity says it's a good hotel, a hospital. You also want to go to that hospital. You yeah. want to also drive the same car that the celebrity is driving. But all this is a lie. Watch this. You have an <coughs> unction from the Holy One and you know all things. 
meaning that it's the Holy One, it's the Holy Ghost who's making it known that life is spiritual. Mm. He's making it known that the physical world is dominated by spiritual influences, by spiritual characters, by principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in their heavenly places, and they are influencing the lives of men. In, in Jeremiah, I believe, verse 23, verse 10, it says, O oh Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walks to direct his steps. You hear what Jeremiah say? The human beings are like containers. It is not in man that walks to direct his own steps. In other words, this is a game of spirits. Spirits are ruling this world. And human beings are merely puppets. And at least we will readily you know, admit to you that we are puppets of spirit, of, of the Holy Spirit. We are puppets of the Holy Ghost. And if you're not a puppet of the Holy, Holy Ghost, you're a puppet of another spirit. But make no mistake, you will be compelled by spirits. In this life and in this world, you'll be compelled by spirits. They manipulate situations, circumstances, and scenarios. Contracts can be placed on the table and then taken away. And you see how the, those spirits were manipulating Christopher's life. They would present a situation where he's going to get paid. And then just when he's about to get paid, they take it from him. And then they do it over and over and over again. Why? They're very skillful. Right down to a very small contract, they can take it off the table. They can offer it to you and then take it off the table. Why are they doing that? To break you down to a place where you're so desperate. Because as soon as, if you've been starving and then something is offered to you, a deal is offered. Perhaps you go and you borrow a little bit because you know something is coming. <laughs> then they take it away <laughs> to fix you in a tight situation. The devil is a nasty manipulator. <laughs> life is spiritual. That's why if you don't live by this book, you're a victim in this life. You're a victim in this life. May God help you. May God teach you that man shall live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Because God's word is spirit and it is life. That means it rules over the spirit realm and the physical realm. And now, if you live by the principles in this book and you speak words that are the same as the word of God, now you come into agreement with God. You give the word of God the legal right to interfere and intervene in your life. Mm. And as you keep the principles of the word of God, it's like hitting the light switch. When you hit the light switch, the light comes on. God has set laws in the earth. If you keep his commandments, the light comes on. If you jump from a building, gravity will pull you down. If you keep the principles of God concerning prosperity, you will pull resources to yourself. There are laws that govern the earth. If you familiar yourself, familiarize yourself with God's word, you'll be amazed. That's why in Job 22, it says, Acquaint now yourself with him and be at peace. Thereby good shall come unto you. He says, Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth. Lay up his words in your heart. He says, if you return to the Almighty, you shall be built up. Then he says, you shall put away iniquity far from your tabernacle. Your tabernacle is your brain, it's your, it's your mind. He said, you shall put away iniquity far from your tabernacle. Then he says, then shall you lay up gold as dust and the gold of Ophir as the stones of the brooks. Yea, the Almighty shall be your defense and you shall have plenty of silver. Mm. So he's telling you the way that this thing is done properly. There's a way that success is achieved properly and God has placed the desire for success inside of you. Mm. But you have to do it by his word. Mm. So when he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, righteousness. he's telling you, Learn the kingdom principles first. Learn God's word. And the central kingdom principle is to put his word in your spirit mm. and to grow thereby, to grow by his word. Paul said, I commend you to God and, and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance amongst all those that are sanctified in Christ Jesus. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. He's already figured this thing out for you. It's not that difficult. It's just that the TV is louder. TikTok mm. seems to be louder. 
Mm. Instagram seems to be louder. Mm -hmm. These things are so loud. Netflix. Sh yeah, shut these things down. He said, be quiet. They, God had to call Abraham out for him to be by himself so that God could now begin to, be, to bless him. And the temptation he went through is the same temptation that young girls are going through when they are looking for jobs. Mm -hmm. the, the man promises to offer a job on condition that you sleep with me. In universities, if you want to pass this paper, sleep with me and you'll pass this paper. Joseph had a similar experience. If you want to continue with this job, sleep with me. He had to run and he ended up even getting arrested over something he did not do. How many people are in prison over something they did not do? Right. But thank God he said no, because he, had he accepted, he wouldn't have become a prime minister. No, 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 no. Satan would have stolen his star. Yes. And then given that star to somebody who's willing to sell their soul. To Potiphar's wife. Because he, Satan has nothing. Everything he has obtained, he stole it from the children of God while they were sinning. Mm -hmm. And then he transfers it to those who are willing to sell their souls mm. in order to obtain that thing. But that thing came from God and that thing was inside a child of God. But because the child of God compromised their integrity, they were robbed. Mm -hmm. And that right there tells me that his star is bright. Yes, the enemy yes. does not just come for anybody. Yes, He and, comes from, for somebody and, with a bright star. And he seeks to defile those who are prophetic mm. in a location. Yes. Why does he want to defile the prophetic? Because if he can prof defile the prophets in, the, in a nation, in a location, then the word of the Lord will not go forth. They will not be able to expose the operations of the kingdom of darkness. Because it is the prophets that reveal these things that we're discussing now. These things are prophetic. If he can defile us, we'll keep quiet. And if we keep quiet, how will they know? And so it was the strategy of the enemy to defile the prophet. So that the prophet cannot see what happened to Samson when he defiled himself with Delilah. He could not see. They, 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 they gouged out his and he eyes. Was powerless. Yes, and from then he started grinding. They took his strength. How many people are grinding? How many prophets of the Lord are grinding? The enemy has gouged out your eyes. But as my God lives. May he restore what the enemy stole to you Amen. and Amen. not just you. And but that person all of that you is that watching are out there, Amen. may the Lord begin to restore. Amen. And those who are, are receiving text messages, Facebook messages from defilers, mm -hmm. those are defilers who are saying, Come meet me and I'll give you what you want if you give me what I want, which is sexual defilement. Mm -hmm. Those are defilers. Faith say that. Block that, them, that. reject them, refuse. Yeah. Listen, start from scratch. We all started from scratch. We start, I started, I was selling small things. I, I had to start from scratch, but I was not afraid to start small. Mm. I started selling a few things. I was selling these water filters. <laughs> nice. I, was selling, I was selling some small water filters. I used to sit on the bike and, and, and I would buy one for around $25. They're water filters. You can pour water in it. It uses colloidal silver to purify the water. You fill up this bucket. <laughs> there were buckets, okay? Basically, I was selling these buckets that are water filters with a small tap at the bottom. And the water really tastes good, though. So I was selling them. <laughs> I, saw them. I, I, saw, I started from scratch, and I take a portion, and I go buy two more water filters, and I sell those. I started from the bottom, but I didn't have to bend over for any <laughs> wicked foreigner. I didn't have to bend over for nobody. And God saw my commitment. And God have mercy on me mm. and God raised me up. Yeah. He said he resists the proud, mm. but gives grace to the humble. And yeah. what are the proud doing? They're walking with the signs that say pride, mm. right? Mm. May God rescue you. You shall not bend over for that wicked one. You won't bend over for the bafflement mm. to sodomize you and then, and then floss all over social media because they're giving you peanuts. I wish, I wish Bahati knew how much they're robbing him. Yeah. Because he's worth more than what they're giving him. Mm. They're giving him peanuts. To that's those peanuts, himself. yeah. Well, they're giving you 300 k that's, that's probably around $3,000 every week or so. Just that's peanuts. You wish, like I wish woman? you knew you're worth hundreds of million. You're worth more than that. But they give you peanuts because you're willing to take it. They give you peanuts because that's the depth of your conviction. And, and, and at the end of it, 
Satan puts you to shame, laughs at you because you took the peanuts. And Meanwhile, you're a prince. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you are children of the most high God. Mm -hmm. The inheritance that God has for you will make whatever Satan offered you look like peanuts. My God. Mm -hmm. No wonder Jesus says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. Mm -hmm. Mm. And I will give you rest. rest. You see it? Yeah. Sin is heavy labor. Let me tell you, sodomy, being sodomized, those are burdens mm. that, that the Lord never commanded you to carry. And if you drink from that well, that well, you will thirst again. But if you drink from the well that Yeshua will give to you, you, should, you will never be thirsty again. Mm. He will give you a continuous well springing up into everlasting life full of wisdom, full of truth, full of life, full of dignity, full of purpose, full of drive, full of determination, full of power. Are you kidding me? This is the this is this is the best decision I've ever made in my life. Me too. By far. Amen. Mm -hmm. So verse 24, let that therefore abide in you which you have heard from the beginning. If that which you have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, you also shall continue in the son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he has promised us, even eternal life. These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. You hear this? Mm -hmm. These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. Mm -hmm. But the anointing which you have received of him abides in you. And you need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teaches you of all things and is truth and is no lie, and even as it has taught you, you shall abide in him. So you see what the anointing does? It teaches. You don't buy the anointing from the store and pour it, or you don't buy it from the man of God and pour it on yourself or have him pour it on you. No, the anointing teaches you God's word, reveals truth, reveals wisdom. That is what the anointing means. It does not mean a, a bottle of oil poured on you where you bought from some man of God and kept it in the corner and now you're anointed. No, that's not anointing. Mm. And now, little children, verse 28 of the second chapter of 1 John, abide in him that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone that does righteousness is born of him. And the Lord is coming, and this Antichrist is coming also. Mm. And there are those whom he can have, and he will take those whom he can have. But those whom he cannot have, they know themselves. They know the Lord, and they won't compromise their integrity for anything, for any amount of money, for any position, for any car, for any clothing, for any job, for any movie role, for any record for any studio time, for any producer, for any connection, for any position, nothing. Mm. If it doesn't come from God, I don't want it. Yes. Besides, the blessings that the Lord gives make rich and add no sorrow. Yes, the blessing of the Lord makes rich and he adds but no get sorrow it through to homosexuality, it. <laughs> get it through homosexuality, then the rectum will be destroyed. Bleeding, you'll be wearing diapers, Cancer. you'll be spraying extra perfume or, or cologne on you because you know you stink. Mm. You know it's real. Hmm. Yeah. You, you, you know diseases you know exactly. diseases are running through your body. Mm. You know you can't trust condoms because condoms cannot protect you mm. from demon spirits. Mm. They can't they can't protect you from soul ties. Mm. They cannot protect you from generational curses. Mm. Don't fight God, fight sin. Mm. Mm. Don't and let the you enemy also take you. Children to inherit yeah. the, the things that you You've sold your soul for. And even if they inherit, you would have set a bad example for them. And then you would have left curses upon your children and children's children because you have decided to go the way of the enemy, the way of sin, and there are consequences to everything. So it's better to build that house, your house on a rock, so that when the, the, the disaster and all these things, the challenges of this world come, they will not be able to shake you. Shake. You will be firm in Jesus. You will be firm. Everything that he has given you, your children and children's children will, will, will benefit. They will benefit from your name. 
whenever your name is mentioned, they say, oh, yeah, oh, so and so was a good man. Because your dad was a good man, I'm offering you this job. Because your dad was a good, your dad, oh, your mother did this for me. Because of that, get the visa. You leave an inheritance for your children and children's children. So it's better, it's better to take this long road that everybody, uh, my friends, those friends of mine who chose the shortcut, when we meet right now, they hide some of them who get a bonus come to ask for some money before i would be the one hiding because i've chosen to build on the rock and it's not easy building on the rock is not easy but i followed i followed the way of god i decided to share my testimony even when i was not married and my friends would come and advise me who will marry you after listening to your story they didn't know that God had prepared a celebrity <laughs> to marry me. In fact, now they ask me, how did you meet that celebrity? It's God who made the celebrity come all the way from Kenya to Uganda for the first time to marry me. So with God, all things are possible. Do not, do not limit yourself. Do not limit God. Just obey and God is faithful. And uh, I know he has so much to say that he has not even said. Maybe when I'm listening to his story, I feel like he's just scratched a bit. So we will just allow him. If uh, today he doesn't share everything, then we can even allow him to come back tomorrow uh, and share. Yeah, so we can arrange yeah. a time, definitely. Mm. But we can't let you go without praying for you and for, without praying for the people. Yeah. That they may know that there's a God who answers prayer. Mm. Very real, very powerful. He's anxious to 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 deliver you and he is more committed to your success than you are. Yes. He's I... committed. Mm. He's determined to bring you into life the right way. Mm. The way that lasts forever. Mm. Not the other way where you sleep and you wake up in flames, my friend. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Amen. Amen. And when he was coming here, he did not ask for any money. But as we do, as life is spiritual, if you feel uh, touched to support anybody that we bring on the platform, their details are in the description box. We always have these people come back and then uh, we share the joy together as a family. In fact, we are supposed to give him a t shirt. Yes. Life yes. is spiritual. Yes. Yes. Fact. And a, a hoodie. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. We share and support one another. So, family, when our brother requested to share his testimony, he did not ask for money. In fact, I just felt led to facilitate his trip. We felt, that's how we do. Like, we don't just host people without facilitating their movements. So, uh, as the spirit leads, if you feel free to, if you want to support him, you can uh, check the description box. But we, as uh, Life is Spiritual, are going to lead as an example. We are going to support him financially as the Spirit leads. And then we also have to share Life is Spiritual, just to remind everybody that comes on this platform wow. that Life is Spiritual, no matter what you go through, no matter how hard it becomes, no matter what you face, Life is Spiritual and you're overcoming. So today, I just want our brother to accept our small <laughs> gift. Yes. Yes, and I know we'll have him back because he has so much to share. I hope it fits. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'll fit him. Yes. See, like when you... When you come out on the other side, eh? mm. you know, you know, when you reject sin, mm. it's like Nebuchadnezzar, he casts you into the furnace, the yes. fiery furnace. Yeah. But so in that furnace, you. you're not alone. Mm. The Lord is with you there. And when yeah. you come out, you mm. come out looking better than you did when you went in. Yes. Amen. Yeah. So your life is changing, my friend. Mm. It's changing from today. It's not the same. Mm. But God is a living God. Um, yeah, yeah, and family, don't get annoyed. He's coming back to share his whole story. It's and just that we have to to support what he's saying with the word of God so that it makes sense. Yeah. So uh, we'll have him come back and share more. And I know with time we'll be able to see his beautiful wife and the lovely children that God has blessed him with. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You're so, always welcome. You're always welcome. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So let's pray. Mm. Mighty Father, in the name of Jesus, we give thanks for the gift of testimonies, mm. the gift of your Holy Spirit 
for the gift of the blood of Yeshua that washes and cleanses us from all unrighteousness mm -hmm. and even cleanses our conscience from dead works that we may serve the Lord. We give thanks for the life of Christopher and for the life of every soul under the sound of my voice. Mm -hmm. We know that there are many of them that are in the exact same situation that Christopher was in. Mm -hmm. But if he overcame, they too can overcome. If Jesus has made him an overcomer, yes. he can make them overcomers also. And so right now I pray for every last one of them, including Christopher, Amen. and every last one of them, that mighty Father, every strategy of the devil to bring curses upon his life, we cancel those curses right now. Amen. We destroy the altars that have been speaking against him. Jesus. We sever by the sword of the Spirit of God Amen. every soul tie. We sever the soul ties. We bind every familiar spirit sent to enforce covenants that he entered into in the time of sin. Those sins are forgiven. The Amen. blood of Yeshua washes Amen. and cleanses him of all unrighteousness. The familiar spirits are bound and cast out, Amen. never to return again. And in the name of Jesus, we pray, mighty Father, that everything that the devil stole may be restored. For it is written, the thief, if he be found, must restore sevenfold. Yea, he must give all the goods of his house. I pray, mighty Father, that now that he knows you, now that he knows that life is spiritual, now that he knows that he must guard his righteousness for dear life, yeah. I pray that you may begin to bless him, that you may begin to restore his inheritance, that you may begin to restore his finances, his opportunities, his logbooks, his title deeds, yes. his position in society of honor. I pray that you may restore upon him the adornments of honor. For it is Yeshua who clothes him, not his own deeds. And so if Yeshua has clothed him, he is clothed indeed mm -hmm. in garments of righteousness, in garments of honor, in garments of integrity and dignity. We pray that these things may be restored unto him and a ring placed on his finger, just as the father placed a ring on the, on the finger of the prodigal son and placed shoes on his feet and embraced him and said, welcome back home, son. You are welcome in this place. You have a place to call home and a father who loves you and family members who are cheering to see you restored. And so I pray not just for you, but for every soul that, that is under the sound of my voice. Father, may you restore their blessings also. May you restore their finances also. May you restore their health also, even their body weight. May you restore it also. Mighty Father, may every strategy of the devil be canceled. May their names be blotted out from those books of witchcraft. May their names be blotted out from mirrors mirrors in the marine kingdom and mirrors with la and, and laboratories may his seed be removed from those laboratories may their seed be removed may their bodily fluids that were captured by devils may they be removed for yeshua paid for them on the cross of calvary and may every ordinance that was written against them for sins ranging from porno pornography, drunkenness, cigarettes, or, or alcoholism, or drugs, or, or sexual immorality, or homosexuality, or any form of defilement. We blot out the ordinance that was written against them with the blood of Yeshua. We blot out those ordinances. For Yeshua paid the price for him, and now he is debt free. Now they are debt free. They owe no debt for Yeshua paid it all. And now they walk in newness of life. Now they walk cherishing holiness because they know what it means to be holy. They cherish righteousness because they know what it means to be righteous. They know how the, en the enemy enters in through the doorway of sin. And so they cherish their righteousness. They cherish their holiness. They cherish their relationship with you. They cherish their prayer time and their meditation time in the word, meditating therein day and night, that they may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then they will make their way prosperous, and then they will have 
good success, long lasting success, building upon a rock, a solid foundation that cannot be shaken by any winds of change. So mighty Father, we honor you. Mighty Father, we glorify you. We give thanks with hearts full of celebration and thanksgiving for the rescue of this soul and not just him, but many others who are out there. They know themselves and you know them, Father. And you have brought them unto your son because they cannot listen to this point unless you have drawn them. And so I pray that you may bless them and preserve them and raise them up and give them wisdom that is that is far more than their years in this world. Wisdom beyond their age. Wisdom that was hidden before the earth began. Give them that wisdom that none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it, they never would have crucified the Lord of glory. Give them that wisdom that is beyond time and space and matter. That they may walk as eternal sons of God. Eternal spirits in human bodies doing the will of God. I bless your name, mighty Father. I celebrate in my heart for him. And not just for him, but all that come unto the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by faith. We honor you, mighty Father. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I got a good feeling amen. in my heart about you, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He'll I come laughing at feeling. the enemy. He'll be uh, laughing at those people. I got a good feeling. What is 300 uh, hey. Kenya shillings compared amen. to his soul and his uh, destiny? The devil is a liar. Hmm. devil is a liar. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. You're blessed forever. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And those who come through me will be blessed. Amen. Amen. Jesus said it. Amen. 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 So, we love you all. Mm. May the Lord bless you. Mm. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and do you good. Yes. We love you. I'm Baba Zain. Erika Mukisakimani, a.k.a. Mama Maisha. And, and Christopher, the latest, the latest champion in the house. Yeah. Amen. Amen. In the kingdom of God. Say no to homosexuality. <laughs> and all sin. Yes. Amen. 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 Glory to God. I have been approached and after being approached I'm being introduced to something that I am not even consciously right with like I am not right with this and I feel like why me why do you see that in me and how many other people are you doing that to right so I'm doing my music I am so innocent I think that it's only a matter of gifts and abilities and connections. But even those connections are linked to what you're running away from. The reason why I am seated here testifying and speaking the truth against the secular world is because I have never ever received anything of worth from the secular world.